Hey, Sean Gallagher here, founder of StartupFreedom.com, and this video is about how to get your site listed in the search engines. You see, it's really important that you get listed in the search engines because everybody's going to find you through there. How else can they find you if it's not if you're not listed in the search engines? Because generally, people find a site by typing in, for example, with StartupFreedom.com, they'll either type in a keyword like online business, or they'll type in the actual URL because they heard about me, StartupFreedom.com. And they want people to find me, I want them to find me, and they can't do that, my site won't show up unless I'm listed in Google. So how does Google end up showing your site? Well, it sends out these little robots called spiders that click on links and search around online to try to find new pages um, to list in their search engine. So you want those little robots to find you. How do you do that? Well, it's actually a really simple series of steps that I'm gonna show you right now. Uh, I just got startupfreedom.com listed within about a day. I'm going to show you exactly how I did that, okay? So let's go ahead and do it. All right, so I hope you like my ultra professional intro video there. So here we are magically on startupfreedom.com. So how do I get this startupfreedom.com in the search engines? Well, first of all, Google actually has a page that lets you submit your search site to them. Submit your site to Google, add URL to Google. Or if you want to type in directly, it's google.com slash add URL slash. And all you do is you add your URL here, www.whatever it is. You add comments. It's good, it's good to you, uh, actually describe what you're going to do so that Google knows you're not a spam site. And then you fill out the little um, text here to let them know that you're not a robot. And then you press add URL and your site has been submitted to Google. So that's the great way to get started because Google can process that, that really quickly. Um, so that's number one. Second thing you can do, so what you want to do is you want to social bookmark your websites using some of the popular services out there, like StumbleUpon. This is the only one that I use right now. But there's lots of them like dig.com, technoradio.com, delicious, Squidoo, all these social media sites that sound really funny, but they have a really simple purpose, and that's to collect all your favorite pages in one place. And the search engines love it. They're always checking it. So all you have to do is choose one of those. Uh, again, Stumble, Dig, Squidoo, Technorati, you know, even like a Facebook. Um, and you can add their little plugin to your browser. So you can see here that like I just downloaded this thing and then all of a sudden on my site here, on my browser, it says Stumble Like All. So all I have to do is click on the post, on one of my posts, click I like it, and then what that'll do is that'll actually submit the link to Google, or to Stumble, sorry. And then so this uh, Stumble will be listed on StumbleUpon in my account. So again, StumbleUpon is like a collection of the pages that you like. So StumbleUpon is searched by every minute by Google. So all of a sudden my site's links are on there now in my, under my account. Um, which is which is awesome because it's free. So and then it, so then the next question is well how what's another way I can get links? How how else can I get the Google spiders to discover my site? And the answer is simple. So here's one of my uh, past businesses. This is, this is a DJ business that did really well. We trained DJs how to DJ, or new kids how to DJ, I should say. We trained the millions of kids all over the world who want to be DJs how to how to be DJs and stuff. And uh, so if you scroll down here, you can see that I actually put up a blog post on uh, April 8th as soon as I registered the domain saying, hey guys, a lot of you want to know how I'm able to run this DJ coaching business while traveling and DJing and I actually posted a link to my site. So I know for a fact because I've been running a site for a while that Google checks my site a couple times a day. So boom, they're going to find my site there. So that's the third way. First, we had the URL to Google. Second, we had some social bookmarking like Stumble or Facebook or Dig. Third is getting a link on a site that Google already visits really regularly. And the last one, one of the most important ones, is using a thing called Google Webmaster Tools. So if you search for Webmaster Tools, the first result will be this, google.com slash webmaster tools. And this is a service that allows you to submit all your information to Google about your site. So you click on Webmaster Tools, you sign up just like you would for uh, Google Gmail or any other account, really simple and free. And then you come to this page, uh, Webmaster Tools Home. And so you can see I've submitted a bunch of sites here, uh, including startupfreedom.com. And so all you, to add a site, all you do is you go add site, you enter your, your URL here, 
Um, and then you go verify site. And once you verify the site, Google knows you're a little bit more legit because you've taken the time to do this. So I'll walk you through verifying your site quickly. Okay, so here you go. This is how you verify your site. This is the verify page. There's a couple different ways you can verify your site. You can add this meta tag to your site. So you can take this little piece of code and put it in your site. Um, but those of us that aren't technically inclined, that's, a, that's probably the toughest way to do it. I didn't know how to do that one. I still don't. Um, or you can download a file that Google gives you to verify that you're the owner and upload it to your site. So let's do, let's do that. I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to go download link file. Um, you won't be able to see this because it's actually, I actually have two screens. So you won't be able to see this uh, file downloading, but um, you will be able to see what, what I do with that file. So once the file downloads, it'll just be on your computer and it'll just be called this. Google 953, whatever, whatever, dot HTML. So then what you do is you go into your hosting. And so uh, in my first video, I described how to set up hosting and what it is. This is your control panel in your hosting. And for those of you that aren't familiar with hosting, it's, it's just, just a file, just like that's on your computer. Your computer has a files that's the store stuff in it, um, folders. Uh, this is just like a folder, um, but online for the files of your website. So to add, to add a file, like the one Google just gave me to, to my website, I log into my HostGator control panel here uh, using the information they gave me in my sign-up email. And then I go to the file manager. And now I'm inside the site. This is, these are all the different folders that I was talking about. So, for example, for startupfreedom.com or uh, djshongallagher.com in this case is the example, I double click on that folder. Now I'm in the site. So now I can upload that file that Google let me download just a minute ago. So I can choose the file. I save that file to my desktop. You might save it to your downloads or to your documents. I know the file's called Google something, something, something. There it is. So I'm going to upload this. Go choose. Okay, it's uploading, and it's done. So now I can close this, and I can close this, and I can get on my hosting, and I can go verify this by Google. It says step one, download this file. Step two, upload it to my site. I've done that. Step three, confirm that by clicking this link. Beautiful, it's working. You can see because it actually shows a file. If there wasn't anything here, it would show an error. And then lastly, click verify. And then your site will have all this. So it's going to now search for all these things on your site, like errors and keywords and all sorts of stuff like that. And you see this? Sitemap. Submit a sitemap. So what a sitemap is, is it's a file that has all the links to all the pages on your site so that Google can find you. So you want to submit a sitemap, which is super easy. So you can see there's no sitemap submitted. So all you have to do to create a sitemap is go to Google. Type in sitemap generator as I have here, sitemap generator, and the first one that comes up is xml-sitemaps.com. That's what you want. XML is a programming language, and that's the one that Google likes. So we'll click on that, and this is a free tool that you can use. So first thing you do to develop your sitemap is you enter your URL, change frequency, how often does your site change, daily. Uh, I'll use my server to let them know when the last update was and I click start and the sitemap is done. There you go. So I can just download this and then I upload it to my site, file to my site, just like I did with uploading the last file. Then all I have to do is, is show them where the file is, sitemap, and I submit it and then I'm done. Those are the four ways that you can quickly get your site in front of Google, and I promise you that Google will pick at least one of those up, if not four, but you only really need one to get indexed. So now, whenever I go to Google, um, it looks like this. That's how you can check if you're indexed, if you type in uh, your own URL, see if, uh, see if Google actually has your pages listed. If it doesn't, then, then you're like, okay, we'll look out. So um, that's all I have for today. Um, hopefully your site will get ranked within less than a day and you'll have even better luck than I do. Um, but either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me some comments if you have any questions or let me know what you thought of the video or anything else you want to learn, okay?